Hey Advanced Orchestra, it was so great to see you guys on Monday. So we had a weird week this week. I printed out a lot of what's called a fingerboard map and we went through um, what notes go on each of the tapes and then how the low twos, the low ones, the high threes, those sort of things kind of work on each of the instruments because I keep using this terminology with you guys and I'm just kind of like yelling what it means and I feel like I lost a lot of you in the process. So hopefully those of you that were there, that helped it to maybe make more sense. That I understand that that might not make it easier to play, but at least you know where to start. Um, if you missed it and you would like to know it, I have enough for everybody and I would be happy to sit and explain it to you either before a class or after class and, and we'll be talking about all these things more, but I don't want anybody to miss out on that because I don't, don't want anybody to feel behind. Um, so after we did that, we went to El Toro because that uses a lot of low twos slash for cello's second finger. Um, and so that gave us a chance to kind of practice that and it's actually sounding really great. Um, we went to about measure 55, which sounds like a lot, but it's because it repeats a lot. Um, I would love it if you could try to learn to where it jumps to the coda. It shouldn't be too, too hard, but that means that we have like most of it learned. So that's pretty exciting. I know, I know it's not perfect. It's not close to perfect, but we're getting there. Um, then we went to Carol of the Bells and we went straight to measure 37. Um, cellos, you don't have this hard thing, so yay for you. But for the violins and the violas, we went through again, how to do those high threes, low one, regular one for the violin twos and the violas. Um, violin ones, you've just got high three for that D sharp. Um, so we went through it really slowly. That Those couple measures are gonna be the hardest thing in the whole concert because it's hard to do slowly. And so when we need to do it quickly, it's gonna be even harder. So I really want you to go home and really work on that. And it's totally okay if it's slow for right now. That's how it always starts. But if we keep doing it, one day you're gonna be able to play it fast and it will be great. Um, so we went, we kind of skipped over that section like we did it slowly, but we kind of started at the beginning, did that section slowly, and then went to about 61. Um, and then we kind of were out of time because I spent so much time talking at the beginning. So we just kind of ran through burst. Um, for some of you, burst is super easy and you've got it down. For some of you, it's not, and that's totally understandable. It's only our third rehearsal. So I just kind of wanted to have a quick run through. Um, so if there are things you missed, don't worry, we're going to go back. So anyways, I hope that all of that helped you practice at home. If you still have questions, I am more than happy to answer them. Like I said in class, like I have this tendency to give instructions, but to leave out one of the sentences. <laughs> it's like, I think it, but I don't say it. And so please, if you were confused, that is my fault. That is not on you. And so I really just want to do anything I can to make it so that you're not confused. Because I know that all of you can play this music as long as I teach it. Okay. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you on Monday.